Scrape the corner, buy a rover, crack inside my grandma's sofa. Sunday family coming over. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is just in right now. I just got on a vacation. I was editing the video right now because I was uh, talking about how Lucky Whitehead uh, had a, a warrant for his arrest. But this just came in right now when I was editing my video. Lucky Whitehead is officially cut from the Cowboys. Man, I didn't I didn't think it was gonna be this bad, you know. I thought it was gonna be like a, a little fine and everything, but apparently he's he's been cut. So uh man I'm out of breath right now. I came running upstairs. But yeah, uh I guess that's it for Lucky man. Uh what a few years we had with them. It's like one year, two years. Uh, I mean he really he didn't really do it. All he did was run some sweeps and stuff and he scored like a kick return against the Rams in the preseason. But I mean that's pretty much all he did, and uh, still, um, why shoplift, man? All you know, just because you shoplift, all this happened. Now, if you wouldn't, if Lucky would not have shoplifted, he wouldn't have been cut, and none of this would have happened. You know, I wouldn't be making this video. Uh, but yeah, now Lucky's cut, so I'm guessing now Ryan's gonna start punt return and kick return, and possibly a uh, slot at receiver. So yeah, uh, this is this is crazy, man. Uh, I thought it was just gonna be something small, but I guess they cut him. Uh, this man this is crazy. I was I was editing my video right now, and this just just came in when I when I uh, I guess I didn't see the notification or I didn't get it until I until I got out of the app. But then it, I saw this and uh, man, it's crazy. It's crazy what uh, what what could happen. But I mean, best of luck with him. You know, hopefully he gets more uh, other than luck. Hopefully he eats more uh, good luck charms to get more good luck. But yeah, uh, I guess it's uh, Ryan Switzer's time to step in. You know. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to address that. Uh, so if the video seems all weird, it's because I just I I just put this video in this clip in, and I'm gonna put it in the beginning. So. I don't know if I should put it in the beginning and the end, but I'm gonna put it somewhere in there. So uh, yeah, that's 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 that. I mean, I mean, you you could say he got what he deserved, but I mean, I'm pretty sure another team's gonna pick him up pretty quick because Lucky he he's good, but I mean, all he did for us was run sweeps and uh, and kick return and stuff. He wasn't that big of a player, but it still hurts to see uh, one of our guys leave. But yeah, uh, that's it. That's all I gotta say. Never, sh uh, never shoplift, guys. Anybody, uh, any, any of you NFL players watching this, which I doubt, highly doubt, hundred percent, none of you guys are watching this. Do not shoplift, or you will be cut from your team. All right. I mean, that's it. That's all I gotta say, man. Lucky White has been cut. Uh, very surprisingly, crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, something that came up. And my notifications when I woke up. So, uh, I woke up this morning and I got a notification from uh, Bleacher Report uh, that said that Lucky Whitehead uh, was issued a warrant for his arrest, which caught me by surprise because, I mean, Lucky Whitehead, like, why, why would he be arrested and stuff? Because, you know, he, he's like a good guy. And all this stuff that's been happening to him in the la in the past week with his dog and him paying money to get his dog back and you know it's just sad, but like it was weird because Lucky Whitehead, and I clicked on it and uh, what the fuck my dog's barking. Well, um, back to the story. Well, uh, it said that he was uh, he had shoplifted about a month ago. I think and uh, he didn't go to court so that's why he had a warrant for his arrest and stuff but like what I don't understand is why shoplift like don't NFL players have money and all these good cars and all that stuff and they still shoplift like come on lucky come like like is I don't know. It's it's pretty dumb. I think it's pretty dumb because, you know, you don't need to be shoplifting, and you know that you're gonna get caught. Well, some people will get caught, 
But you know it's gonna get caught, you know you're gonna be in the news, you know it it's it's not a good thing to do when you're in a football team because then uh, you, the team could find out and they could probably release you and that's what that's probably what uh, Coach Garrett is gonna do probably release them as he said in the in the interview when they talked about him uh, he said that he had he had no idea that he had shoplifted that that he barely found out this morning so uh, I can imagine how. He felt and what went through his mind. I mean, I would be, I would be pretty mad if one of my players, you know, shoplifting. Like, like really, do shoplifting? You got money and you shoplift. They don't make sense. But um, Coach Garrett said that uh, releasing him is a probability because you know, and we're tired with all these arrests. You know, all these pe- all these uh, college players getting arrested and stuff and suspensions and all that. And, uh, you know, that's what, that's what Garrett said, and, I mean, releasing him would not be a bad idea, it kind of would and kind of won't, because, I mean, we got, we got Ryan Switzer there, he could take a spot, you know, I think, I think Ryan is a, a better player than Lucky, and, uh, more motivated and stuff, because, I mean, this dude, uh, shoplifted, come on, like, really, like, it's, it's just, I feel like it's dumb shoplifting, you know? You don't got to shoplift. Like, you got money, dude. Like, But yeah, Coach Garrett said that that they might be releasing him. So we'll see what happens with Lucky. Hopefully he doesn't get released. But if he does, then... I mean... Hopefully he learns his lesson, you know, not to do anything like that again. And, you know, I wish the best for him. But for now, uh, we'll see what, what goes on with this. And I guess his... Uh, he has another court date. I think next month. So hopefully he doesn't miss that shit and then get arrested again. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the lucky whitehead incident that I had this morning. Well, I saw this morning. I still believe Ryan Switzer is better than Lucky Whitehead. So if uh, Lucky's gone, then Switzer is gonna step in. I mean, he's still gonna start even with Lucky not getting released. So uh, yeah. But today, finally, guys, is uh, training camp for the Cowboys and Oxnard. You know, I can't go because it's pretty far and, you know, I cannot drive all the way over there. But uh, it's pretty exciting to have the boys here in California starting training camp today. You know, uh, Jalen Smith should be out there and everybody doing the job. You know, Dak out there practicing, so which is good, you know. Uh, but we'll see what happens with pra- with their practice today. And uh, hopefully the, they're having a good time, you know. Oh, yeah, from uh, yesterday's news, uh, I was watching the, the press conference uh, with Jerry Jones and uh, and Jason Garrett. And somebody uh, uh, mentioned something about Zeke and his incident. And uh, Jerry Jones said that he was looking into this case and that he didn't find anything about uh, domestic violence in his case uh so i don't know what that means i don't know what if uh that's gonna mean no suspension for him or is that a good sign or bad sign i think it's a good sign but i don't know i just i just heard him say that and i see this in the bleacher report so hopefully it's a good thing uh because i really want zeke to play man that, that dude's good man like he if he doesn't get suspended that would be really good Cause I really want him to start running back. I mean, Alfred Morris is good too, but I would just choose Zeke. So yeah, uh, with that about Zeke, about Jerry Jones saying there's no domestic domestic violence, uh, I don't really know what that means. I mean, I'm not that smart. I'm pretty like dumb in the head, but I think it's a good sign. So we'll see what happens with that, and yeah, that's that's that. So that was uh, uh, the incident with Lucky today and uh, Zeke's uh, and what Jerry Jones had to say yesterday about Zeke. Well, that'll be it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I know this, is, this might be pretty boring for you, but, you know, I like to talk about my boys. And uh, I'm very excited for this season. I can't wait. I can't wait for training camp, too. Uh, hopefully, I get to attend one of these training camps because it's really close to me, like probably four hours away, but 
I mean, hopefully I get to go one of these days and uh, see my boys practice for the first time. But yeah, guys, this is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry if I bored you guys. I just, uh, I want to start this new thing with uh, talking about cowboy news. So hopefully that goes well. And uh, yeah, I should uh, just rest because I have practice in a little bit. Alright, it's Rebo signing out. Peace. Scrape the corner, buy a rover, crack inside my grandma's sofa. Sunday family coming.